when they're student athletes, some of us felt like that we needed to use our voice and use our platform. And if we didn't during this time, then how could we say that we actually had this platform? And so we got together and we started to try to put different things together, including this Unity Walk. And the fact that in only a couple of days that we were able to get this turnout and get people to come out here and listen and learn, that we can start moving forward with change is definitely beautiful. It just means a great deal that people are now finally starting to recognize the struggle that African Americans go through and they're willing to be a part of the change to help stop the injustices and the inequality. I thought it was tremendous for our, our young student athletes to be able to understand how to organize and make change in the world. And I think they're doing a tremendous job of educating folks and getting things implicated that can help make change going down the road. I mean, not just the words, but living the change and treating people equally, treating people with respect and giving everyone the dignity in which you want to receive yourself. It's really just kind of what a and all about, just being a part of something, something bigger than you and just ha having everyone there together. It starts from there, but then it's, it's so much bigger than that, and, and that's what, what today is all about, really. It's doing certain things like having those uncomfortable talks, explaining implicit bias, explaining culture, te teaching culture and competency to people who want to learn, standing the allyship and solidarity so we can start bringing about change on this campus. Racism and inequality and injustice is not going to stop instantly, um, but it's up to us and our generation to continue to fight the fight, continue to speak up, continue to have those conversations so that a change will eventually be made.